d and gang, what's going on guys? Another video today, you guys know the drill by now. I don't know why I'm wearing sunglasses, the sun just went down. Hopefully the fishing is gonna be red hot. I just love the look of this place, such a cool river. Just one rod today, very tempted to bring the seven weight, bring some streamers out, some sinking line. We'll save that for the winter. Hardcore nymphing today, I don't have my Euro rod. I still haven't gotten that back from Echo, which stinks. I need the extra reach today, but Nine foot five weight, we'll do what we can. Hopefully we can get into some nice wild brownies. It's a record day, it is a record day. I mean, we're talking middle of November and my car was saying it was 74, 75 degrees on the way up here. Unbelievable. I haven't seen any fish rise, but I wouldn't doubt it. So maybe, maybe we'll get a fish on dry, but mainly nymphing. Only got about three hours to fish, so I wanna get right in the water. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, make sure that bell's turned on. Definitely don't wanna miss future videos, so let's get right in there, see what we can catch. Golden stone and a mop fly. Yeah, I don't feel bad about it. We'll give these a try and then probably go with some smaller flies if these don't work. Probably gonna have to sneak in here too. I mean, usually I'd go right over here and start fishing, but I think with a little bit of colder water, this section in here could actually have a bunch of fish really staged up. So we're gonna slowly walk out to about here and kind of work our way casting upstream. You always wanna fish your way upstream. So that's the plan, let's give it a shot. All right guys, we are running an indicator for now. I'll probably take that out when we get into some closer riffles. But when we're doing these longer distance casting, we definitely want it. That stuff's definitely gonna be finding the bottom. All right guys, changing it up, let me show you what I got. Lively Legs Rainbow Warrior with the white legs, and then a Lively Legs Double Trouble Natural. That's a 14, that's a 16. I'll show you the first few casts. Maybe we'll get lucky and then I'll probably save some battery. Fish a little bit off camera. All right, first drift in with the lively legs combo. Yeah, I think the fish will be a little bit farther out than that cast. You just kind of want to cover your water. All right. Let's get one on this cast. Let's get right back in that pocket. Throw a mend. See if we can't get one right here. Right about there, there should be a take. Nope. Alrighty guys, good news and bad news. Bad news is I haven't put a fish in the net yet. Good news is it's November and it's 70 degrees, so if there's a day to go out and get skunked, not a bad day to do it. Oh, I don't want to bore you guys to death. I know you know the channel for, you know, me showing you guys every video regardless if I do well or I get skunked or whatever, so I know some of you guys are used to it, but man, I really don't want to put out a video for you guys to watch with no fish. Especially in the fall, because I know these trout right now are probably so colorful. If we can just get one, like, 14 or 15 incher, I mean, my day is going to be made, so. Probably going to go back down to the main spot where we've caught in a large, large majority of our fish. And uh, if we got to go through the whole entire fly box, we'll do it. So, let's head down there, start switching flies. Maybe five to ten casts with each. And uh, just figure out this puzzle. We're getting crazy. Big hopper, size 18 olive. We're gonna give it a shot. Long leader too. I put on a ton of tippet. Probably close to 14, 15. Give it a shot.
Oh yeah, I mean, I see olives coming off. I hooked a freaking trout on the freaking hopper. I wasn't recording. Literally just hooked a brown on a dry fly in November. Guys, I can't believe I wasn't recording. You should have seen this freaking brown. Came right up and took the hopper in November. Like what? Look at this trout. Oh my God, look at this. Yes! <laughs> Guys, what? Yes, I thought we were gonna get skunked. We did it. Look at this brown. Probably a 14, 15 inch brown. It's exactly what we wanted. Frickin' hopper in mid November. Can't beat it. Let's get this guy back in. Um, really bummed out I didn't get the strike on camera for you. It was a good one. He came right up and freaking smashed that hopper. So we're going to get right back in that riffle. There's got to be more fish and uh, hopefully we can get some hookups on camera for you. All right, same exact hopper, but I took off the olive and we put on a size 20 zebra midge. Real small midge as a dropper. See if there's any tricky fish in there being stubborn. Maybe I'll take the midge. Guys, got another fish. And I wasn't recording again. Another one on the hot. Oh no, it took the midge. Got one on the midge. I think it's a pretty good fish. God, I'm so sorry, guys, for not recording. Oh, guys, that's a pretty nice fish. It's bigger than the other one. Wow. Wow, I can't believe this day is actually this good. Wow, that's a really nice fish. Really nice one. On the zebra midge, size 20. Size 20. Oh, guys, that's such a nice fish. Wow, that's so much bigger than I thought. Way bigger than I thought. Oh, I'm so nervous. That is such a small fly. A size 20 fly. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get this one. Oh, that's a beautiful trout. Beautiful wild brown trout. Stop, 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 stop. Oh my gosh, that's a gorgeous trout. Please stay on. Please tell me that midge is a good hook set. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What are you doing? Yes! Oh, oh my god! No way! on a freaking zebra midge. And I want to show you the midge right in the corner. Can you see it? Right in the corner. Let's get him unhooked and get him back. Losing light, but I'm going double streamers up up front, black woolly bugger, and then like a black woolly bugger on steroids. I mean, let's just get crazy today. We already caught two nice fish. Let's just get absolutely crazy. Just tell me there is just a freaking giant wolf fish in there, man. I feel like he's gonna be down here though in this deeper crap cast up again now I'm pretty much just dead drifting these right now 
Not gonna strip them or anything yet. I'm gonna see if they'll get whacked just gliding along the bottom. Alrighty guys, nothing on the streamers, but uh, that's gonna be a wrap on the day. Really hope you enjoyed this video. I don't know how well you can see me, but appreciate you guys watching as always. Make sure you give this one a thumbs up. Definitely, definitely make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you in the next video.